you remember that we struggle to arrest our dollar. We struggle to arrest our dollar because we spend so much huge money to do importation. We are not saying importation is not good. Now, countries that are vibrant in their economy, so far as oil and gas industry is concerned, they have both robust downstream and, down and upstream. The upstream is the production side, and the downstream is the refining business. Now, every serious country who starts to produce oil should have a robust refinery. What a refinery does is it cushions you. When oil prices are dropping down, you ship to your refinery. You don't need to import. When oil prices are going up, you export. So that is the strategic advantage of having a refinery as an oil producer. So as an aspect, what I will say is Ghana should give it all the necessary attention that it deserves. That if you want to arrest our city, one of the ways that we can do it is to minimize the quantum of dollars we export to buy crude oil. That will not help. And so the refinery is a way out. Now, the current state of the oil refinery, unfortunately, requires a lot of retooling. And so when the new boss came, I saw it as, you know, I read his profile, and I saw that it's something, I mean, it's somebody who can do something. We just hope that the, the hidden forces that we know will allow him to work. What, I hope you understand when I say the hidden forces, because certain times the decisions are supposed to be made, and then they can't make those decisions. So if they allow him to work, and work very well, to develop the, ups, the downstream sector to be robust enough, then what will happen is that we'll have a very good balancing between the downstream and upstream, and then our economy will be vibrant and to be robust. So strategically, Tor is an excellent place, but it requires retooling, serious retooling.